Goldsmith, number 31, is third. Pontiacs are leading the field of 27 cars still running. Panch pours ahead. Coming up to the checkered flag. Uh oh Larry Frank slides into the infield and out of the way as Marvin Patch wheels his Pontiac across the finish line. And Tony Stewart gets the white flag. One more lap to go. Stewart has a lot of traffic ahead of him, but I don't think it's going to be a factor in the race. They come down the backstretch. Bobby Labonte is still about five or six car lengths behind him. Here comes Tony Stewart off the corner. And in his 25th NASCAR Winston Cup race, Tony Stewart wins at Richmond International Raceway. Becomes the first rookie in Winston Cup racing to win since Davey Allison. Towards a championship, white flag in the air for that man. Tony Stewart, who started 11, would become only the second driver to win two races in his rookie season. Davey Allison, the other in 1987. Tony Stewart off the corner. Second flag. Tony Stewart wins at Phoenix International Raceway. In the here in Homestead, white flag is in the air for Tony Stewart. Trying to score his third victory of the 99 season, the flag also up for Dale Jarrett in the final lap to try and complete his championship quest last time around. It's awful exciting, Alan. This is two races within a race. We're going to see a winner and we're going to see a champion all at the same time. Half a lap to go, three quarters of a mile for Stewart. The 28-year-old from Rushville, Indiana, made his fame and fortune in open-wheel cars on the dirt and paved tracks of the Midwest. He's come to the NASCAR Winston Cup circuit in fine style in 1999. Checkered flag in the air. The inaugural Penzolo 400 at Homestead goes to Tony Stewart. Third victory of the season for Stewart and his champion's own team. Brilliant job today behind the wheel. And she loves it. There's a Tony Stewart fan. One more mile around Dover. Tony will have his fourth career NASCAR Winston Cup win. It will be the third win of the season for Pontiac. And as we said, the 12th winner in 13 races. Tony Stewart wins. He led 240. Try down there. It is over. Oh. Tony Stewart wins the K. It's all over. And there is a very soaked and very happy winner. Two weeks in a row, Tony. Ken Squire is with him. Welcome back, everybody. Well, it is over here in New Hampshire. The ThatLook.com 300 has gone to Tony Stewart by virtue of the rain that has fallen now at lap 273. So Tony Stewart wins, and he is our Bryant Cool driver of the race. Stewart. His seventh career victory and the eighth Pontiac win of 2000. Tony Stewart sweeps at Dover Downs in Delaware here in the 2000 season. More lap to go. Remember, he won the race last weekend at Dover. After starting in 27th position, he started on the pole here this afternoon, and it doesn't appear as if he's going to get a challenge on this last lap. He's now in turns three and four, and winning his second consecutive race of 2000 is Tony Stewart. His fifth win of this year, that's more than any other driver. Now we'll watch for the finishing. White flag is out, final lap for Tony Stewart. One more lap around a mile and a half. Homestead Miami Speedway for Bobby Labonte to get a Winston Cup championship ring. Fans are all on their feet in the grandstands. Labonte now off of turn number two, half a lap away. He may catch Mark Martin for third. I well, probably won't get him. I don't think he wants to. Who's, who's happier now? These guys are the 20 bucks. So much heart, so much effort, dedication, skills. Goes into winning a NASCAR Winston Cup championship on the part of so many teams. It'll be sweet for Joe Gibbs today. Tony Stewart wins the Pennzoil 400 for a second straight year. Here comes Labonte. Bobby Labonte is the NASCAR Winston Cup champion for 2000. Gordon got such a terrible restart, and it uh, really cost him a shot at getting up there and getting after Stewart. Last lap. There's a 
Park right there. Got a shot at getting under Rusty off of two over here. Can't quite make it happen. Car spinning down the back straightaway. No matter. Checkered flag in the win. Tony Stewart, 10th career victory, first of the season. That was Elliot Sadler spinning down the back stretch. There's a lot of wild. Out that corner. Last lap. Boy, Stewart went way wide down there, but Tony Robbie. Oh, a big pileup, and Johnny Benson and Dale Jarrett go around at turn 11. And Dale Jarrett had worked his way back up to 17th after overcoming that earlier spin down in that same corner. Here we are on the final lap. Let's see if we got anything left here, guys. Tony Stewart keeps her on the track. Tony picked up a lot of margin there. Dale Jarrett still stalled at turn 11. Now he finally gets going. Well, this is one place. And Terry Labonte has spun. It doesn't, matter. it doesn't matter. We're on the white flag lap. I'm sure the spotters will be telling him and telling these guys. Yeah. Terry Labonte sitting right where those cars come off turn 11. But they come to the flag no matter what on the last lap. Last lap, you race back. The caution is out, but they race to the checkered flag and the caution. Stewart by six car lengths. It's going to be interesting. Watch Robbie Gordon going down in his turn 11. This is a time you might as well go in and drive her down in there, Robbie. See what you got, buddy. Oh, he's too far back, Larry. Unless oh, Tony lines it up and slides out of the groove. Uh, they know about Terry Labonte's car here. Tony Stewart. Look at Robbie. He's got her smoking sideways back there. Off the corner, and Stewart will get his 11th career Winston Cup victory. He wins on a road. Jeff Burton can Kevin Harvick get to him. Final lap, half mile to go. The white flag is up. Stewart still working Jeff Burton. Here comes Harvick trying to close in. But it's not going to be enough. Tony Stewart gets his third win of 2001. He wins the Sharpie 500 at Bristol. Last lap, change of position. Ricky Rudd gets by Rusty Wallace, and Rusty's obviously oh. not happy at the tactics. And Dale Jarrett's race is here for Joe Gibbs Racing. You know, he had a great car at Daytona and didn't get to show it. He blew up uh, right on the start of the race. Dominated down in Las Vegas, and uh, here he sits looking like he's going to win this race today. Although, I got to tell you, I, I wouldn't... Dale Jr. is going to dive that thing to the bottom down here with maybe one or two to go and see if he can't close that gap. This is it. Final lap. Turn four. Stewart, the high line. Junior, the low line is coming. Here he comes. He cuts the gap in half. But Tony Stewart scores his first super speedway win in over a year. Pretty nice. See. White flag, flag, Mike. Tony Stewart has only started seven races at Richmond International Speedway, and he's about to go to victory lane for the third time here. He won at Atlanta, and if he rounds turns three and four, he'll score his second victory of 2002. Tony Stewart's Home Depot Pontiac wins the Pontiac Excitement 400. Ryan Newman second, Jeff Burton third, teammate Mark Martin in fourth, Jeremy Mayfield. Vince Sunday thought he might lose his job in this car the fine from NASCAR the fine from his sponsor he has agreed to undergo anger management counseling trying to overcome the temper problems that have dogged him throughout his career today he's funneled that anger into a powerful drive as he comes to the final corner Tony Stewart is going to win at Watkins Glen his third win of the season and his first win at this historic road course Stewart's your victor Newman with 
with a great drive for second. Ready. Here we go. Green flag, green flag. It's a good start. Pretty strong out. At the closest battle already is Terry Labonte in the five car. Yep. He moves to the inside of Ward Burton in the 22. That's a battle for eight. He's going to get him too. Jeff Green had a look at Sterling Marlin, but couldn't do it. Heard Mark Martin, the six car, complaining about his car pushing. One thing he may have could have done during that caution flag is get that right front cool just a little bit. But I'm going to tell you, Tony really stretches. Trouble! Oh, no. I've seen this act before. Jeff Green. All right, the caution is out. This probably will be for the race coming to the line. Jeff Green in the one car. That's a shame. He was running so well. Yeah, he crossed the line in seventh last time, Darrell. I think that dirt bank back there and the guardrail change has done its job. That, that's a lot better than what we saw here last time. Well, right. Mark Martin drove it into turn three that time. This is for the win. This will be the final lap at speed, and Tony Stewart leads him to the flag. Yeah, there's no way we can get this race restarted. That's uh, lap 198. The red flag window was four laps to go. White flag is up. Final lap. In a bid for his second win of this season and his first at this racetrack. There we go. Give some credit, credit to Jimmy Johnson because he's pulled in to one second of Tony Stewart. He's a half second behind Ryan Newman for second spot. But the track position he lost earlier, he'll not be able to make up. The defending NASCAR Winston Cup Series champion is going to make a very excellent late charge from eight seconds back to victory lane. Remarkable late race run for Tony Stewart as he wins the UAW GM and his team involved in the incident with Casey Kane a little earlier on a restart and then the altercation on pit road between the 9 and 20 pit crews. But in the end, it'll be a dominating performance by Stewart who will have led 160 of 267 laps. That's pretty dominant. Oh, he's been by far the best car today. There's no doubt about it. Drivers who won a race a year ago who've not won this year. There are quite a few of them. In fact, 11 drivers. Winners last year, not this. Scratch one off the list. Tony Stewart with his first win of 2004. He takes the Tropicana 400 in Chicago by almost three seconds over Jimmy Black. Stewart blocked in the Another 10 or so gear, seven corners plus the inner loop for Tony Stewart to find victory lane. We're assuming he'll find victory lane. I bet he will. <laughs> Today. <laughs> and there goes the 41 car, Benny. Yep, he's still running. <laughs> White flag. Marty may be right. We'll see. Well, let's, can we say Jimmy was right? Jimmy was right. Jimmy Ellis was right. Yeah. Tony, very impressive today. This is a, this is a team that has endured its share of ups and downs, the different things that happen to them, the controversy that seems to just build up and swirl around them from time to time. Last weekend at the Brickyard 400, Tony Stewart not able to come up with the result that he so badly wants at that racetrack brushed it off probably as well as he ever has a disappointment at Indianapolis particularly. And here at Watkins Glen today, overcoming the physical cramps that have dogged him throughout the day, and he's going to ride his way to a dominating win. He'll lead half the race today and take his second Watkins Glen checkered flag. Tony Stewart is the winner. If you run out now, just... Don't even tell me about it. And it's hard to believe. 109 laps down, one to go. 34 cars still on the lead lap. Only one car out of this race. And that is Tom Hubert. And Jeff Gordon, who had climbed his way back up into the top 20, all of a sudden had another problem, and he's back in 32nd spot. So Jimmy John with, yeah, with him in 32nd, Daryl. Jimmy Johnson in 36th. Dale Earnhardt Jr., 42nd. Tough day for some of the biggest stars of the sport. What well, we said coming in here today can make a big difference in the points, and uh, it obviously has. Greg Biffle's going to lead the points for the first time in his Nextel Cup career. I believe our battle for second is heated up. Heated up. Rudd here in the 21, looking back at Kurt Busch in the 97. Hard. Guard, you're inside down there at 11. We're driving deep. Guard, you're inside. Boy, they didn't need to tell him, because that's been... Uh, Oh, Rudd got a good run off of a 10 there. I think yep. it's going to pay off for him. And Kurt might not be expecting Rudd to hold the bottom here. 
checkered flag will be in the air. 20th career win for Tony Stewart, his fourth next Hill Cup road course victory. And Ricky right now at 1.40 in the morning, white flag for Tony Stewart, last lap. This would be it no matter what happens. Just not close enough to get anything done. No. Jimmy Johnson is trying to get by Dale Jarrett on the outside. Yeah, that 20 car will get awfully wide from this point on. Half a lap for Tony Stewart. One on the road course a week ago at Sonoma. Picked up emotion and momentum, pursuing his second Next Tough Cup championship. Tony Stewart, a nail of Indiana, has always wanted to win in Indianapolis, but tonight he's going to shut out the field, and Tony Stewart takes the checkered flag at Daytona. As well that Allen was reporting about. A white flag. Tony Stewart, the 20, the leader. Behind him, the 97 of Kurt Busch. Then Bobby Labonte, Kyle Busch, and Greg Biffle. And Biffle is right on the bumper of the five. That's the race for fourth. That's your race leader. Half a lap to go. Remember, those two had contact just a few laps ago. They're going to battle it out for fourth. But Tony Stewart's going to bring that Home Depot Chevrolet off of turn four. And Tony Stewart, a winner at Daytona, now wins at New Hampshire. White flag at the same track where his hero A.J. Foyt won before him. Now Tony Stewart is two and a half miles away from history. Looking in his mirror every oh, about two seconds right now. <laughs> Turn two at the Brickyard. Down the back stretch. This is going to be really, really big for him. Half a lap to go. The fans cheering. Through turn four, the last trip down the front stretch. Tony Stewart, a native Hoosier, his dream comes true. Tony Stewart wins the All State 400 at the Brickyard. Let the party begin. Slap at the Glen. talking about they're just not going to catch the 20 because the car certainly seems to be under power well this 20 team is in top championship form right now off the win at indianapolis a week ago headed for victory lane here at watkins glen Michigan next week and then Bristol. I mean, in two laps, he has pulled out to a second and a half lead on really good drivers and race cars. Won at Sonoma earlier this year. Tony Stewart, the new road course king in the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. Sweeps off of seven, makes the right-hander. He can see the checkered flag now. Tony Stewart goes back to back and wins at the Glen. Talk about dominating. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the ace car. He's going to make this a three-way battle for third. Kyle Busch slips up. Here comes Johnson. Yeah, the stage drive's real bad down there. Right in the middle of one and two and off. Kyle got on the outside a little bit too much. And here comes Jr. to the inside. Big orange. Tony Stewart gets the win. And Kyle Busch got loose. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will beat him back to the line for four. Other than anybody else. How about the Bush brothers? Well, we're going to find out here, boys. It's one to go, and the Bush boys are in hot pursuit.
pursuit. And here comes Matt Kenseth, the 17 car on the high side. He's getting help from his teammate, McMurray, in the 26. Kenseth has never won here, but he's taking the long way around on the outside. Now just remember, it gets really tense coming down the back right here. You start blocking. Three in turn three. Caution is out. Caution is out. Will we go to overtime or will the checkered flag wave? That's it. We were in the white flag lap. We took the one he said was terrible early in the race. Now third, can he get to the finish? We worked the final lap. So Stewart, down Stewart, the back. That, he looks like he's out of fuel. Should be quite a few more up running out. Stewart's out. Can he coast around in time? Had that 17 second lead. Casey Mears is the second place car. Stewart slow through turn four, trying to reach the finish line. It looks like Casey Mears is out of fuel now. Casey Mears slow in turn three. Tony Stewart's gonna take the checker flag and coast across the finish line and win. <laughs> That's unbelievable. There's Mears. Tony Reigns is out of fuel. Stewart takes the white flag, last lap at Atlanta. Can Johnson get there? Can Kenseth get third from Earnhardt? And a car in the wall. Go seven car. Boyer trying to keep it high on the track. They've already taken the white flag. If the caution was to come out, the race would be over. Kenseth trying to make a move on the aid of Earnhardt. This is for third. Under the 17, Kenseth got loose, got on the apron a little bit. Tony Who's Stewart takes the checker flag. Earnhardt. Just. Tony Stewart has been strong all day. Has led 277 of the 338 laps. White flag, last lap. Pretty even that lap. I think he's going to be able to get him. Doesn't look that way. Down the back stretch for the final time. Tony Stewart won last week at Atlanta with a dominating run, strong pit stops, a good crew. Outside the chase for the next Hell Cup championship, cannot defend his title, but he can be strong down the stretch. Tony Stewart wins at Texas. Last lap. 99's right on him right now. Oh, goes down to the bottom, and he almost forced Matt to run a little bit higher, but... But then you see another grip. Yeah. He goes back to the gas Careful and it pushes height. up the racetrack. Now these guys are just trying not to take each other out. Yeah. At, that, at that point. Here, just bring it on home. Did you hear him say not much teamwork here, just bring it on home. So Kenseth in second, Edwards in third. But Tony Stewart, 20 races since his last trip to victory lane at Texas in November. Tony Stewart wins at Chicago. That makes him a pretty good driver. Right, if you can... right here. One more. One more. All right, Tony Stewart comes by. He had not won a race in 20 starts dating back to last fall. And then two weeks ago, he took this car to Chicago Land Speedway and spanked them. Led over 100 laps and said, guys, that has now become my favorite race car. I want to take this car to my home track. So they brought it to Indianapolis Motor Speedway, a track, as you heard, that he came to when he was five years old, riding in a luggage rack on top of a bus, covered up in coats so he could watch these guys race. It's a track that he has dreamed of winning time and time again. He won here in 2005. And once again, with the help of that guy right there, Zippy, Greg Zippinelli, Tony Stewart will come down here in 2007 and take the win in the All-State 400. Tony Stewart wins it. Take, take a look at him, guys. A lot of confidence. It's two wins at the track he loves so much. One of the favorite tracks in Stewart. You just know he did. Wide flag for Tony Stewart. Trying to pick up his third win in 2007. but And his fourth win here at Watkins Glen. Can he hold off the charging 99 of Carl Everett, who, by the way, is driving with an injured thumb, a previously dislocated thumb, and a bandage trying to shift gears and hang on to that steering wheel. Well, Jerry, he just cleared the most critical part on the racetrack, turn one, 
that has ate everybody's lunch today. He's just got to get through this inner loop clean. Let's watch him get through here. Nice, smooth turns, not aggressive. You see Carl Edwards' left front tire in the air. He's driving hard. And Andy, in turn nine, coming to 10. He's about got this thing home. Carl's not giving up, though. He's just trying as hard as he can to get right to the bumper of the 20 car, Tony Stewart. Carl's got two more shots, the entry at 10 and the entry at turn 11 to catch him. And Carl goes off the racetrack. Edwards off in the gravel. Got Here the comes Tony track. Stewart out of turn 11. And congratulations to Team Chevy driver Tony Stewart, winner of the Nextel Cup at Watkins Glen. Denny Hamlin's teammate comes in second. Smith, the rookie You're behind going. him. Menard is there. Sandler is there. Here comes Elliot Sandler. Yeah, he's not getting any help, though. He made a great move there, but nobody wanted to go with him. I can't believe that these guys at DEI cars are going to be satisfied with second and third. They're going to have to go for it here. Now watch the 31 and the 07. Teammates for Childress, Burton, and Boyer. They want to try. Run. Single foul. They're all trying, wanting to go, but it, everybody's just filling that spot, so they're not getting that opportunity. David Reagan hasn't won. Regan Smith, the rookie. Paul Menard is there. Tony Stewart has never won at Talladega in a NASCAR Sprint Cup car. He's going to do a lot of blocking right here. They've got to run on him. Got to run. Here they come. I can't go down there and do that, though. I Actually, I think that. it's legal on the last lap. He might have got it right there. I think it's legal on the last lap. Please finish for you. And congratulations to Joey Logano. Joey Logano win there he is. He gets his first career win. 19 years old. One month and four days. His dad comes in to give him a big hug. Just spectacular. And he gets it here at his home track. The driver out of Connecticut. Greg Zipidelli and the crew. For Joey, I, I think it's the pressure that is on this kid. To, to go out and perform. And I, I do believe, like Larry said, Darlington was a huge boost. I thought he run a great race at Darlington. Got the wall there at the end and still came back and managed something out of it. So I, I think when you look at Dale Jr., as we said before, drove his way back to eighth. That's as far as he can get. When you start racing against Kenseth and Boyer and Hamlin and those guys, it gets tough at the end of the race because they're, they're not giving an inch. Joey Logano got the white flag last time by. Less than a lap to his second career win. Jimmy Johnson now closing in, trying to pass Tony Stewart for third. What a day it's been for the five-time champion. And Jimmy Johnson, two speeding penalties, a lap down, makes it up, wave around, all this stuff, and comes they back. do it all the time. And, and that's amazing. And it's like we said in the beginning, where has Jimmy Johnson gone? Not anywhere. Welcome back to the top of the board. Joey Logano in his rookie season, won for the first time June of 2009 at New Hampshire. Back to victory lane today. It happens at Pocono. You are the real deal, brother. Woo, thank you. That is awesome. Again, we got lap cars up here. He's going to get a little. Nice lap, but back to. Going to get a little pull on the case. Carl Edwards, is taken, Carl Edwards has taken fifth from Jimmy Johnson as here we go on the last lap. Three cars ahead, the first of which is Casey Mears. And they'll Play catch back Mears back. before the start finishes. Down, 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 down. I don't know. I got him, man. I got him, buddy. Bring it to the line here. Clear by three. Can you believe you're driving, holding off Casey three, Kane, nine. and you're telling the spotter what you need? Kane looks to the, to the inside. Light the candles. Happy birthday, three, Matt Kenzo. <laughs> oh, it's a huge win. Thank huge. you. Thank you, sir, man. Thank you, everybody, man. Thanks for picking up the stop, man. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Four. White flag. White flag. In the air. One more lap. It is not over yet, though, boys. McMurray may not be a factor. He's probably far enough ahead as they roll turn number two. Okay, Larry, what happened that time is, is, is Matt moved up the hill, got a nice run off of turn two, opened up the, the distance between he and Kane. I think he can hold him off from here. That's Tony Stewart who pulls down to the inside, out of the way, not wanting to affect the outcome of this one. Kane coming on the bottom, sweeps up high. He's got a chance to dive down low, but Matt Kenzo, that's the third straight driver to win a Sprint Cup race from the pole. <laughs> Well, Dang, man. Thanks, guys. I just can't tell you guys how unbelievable.
unbelievably proud I am to drive for you guys. Thank you very, very much. Races. White flag in the air. He's got one more shot here at Denny Hamlin. White flag for Kenseth. A little bit of traffic in front of second place. Clear sailing for our leader. He is just up here in a long gone cruising to victory. And Gordon has backed off a bit from Hamlin who catches the traffic. Yeah, I think Gordon really tried real hard in uh, turns one and two and lost a lot of time. Don't think he's going to be able to get Denny Hamlin in the 11. Out of turn four from Wisconsin, Matt Kenseth scores his 27th Sprint Cup Series win. That 48 car of Jimmy Johnson on equal tires. And Jimmy and those guys, Jimmy and those guys make a mistake on that restart and it puts this race right in their lap. Less than a lap to go for Matt Kenseth. First season driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. What a marriage between he and crew chief Jason Ratcliffe. Came out of the gate strong. Got their first win together at Las Vegas. And he's in line now for his first win in the bluegrass. Going to be his fourth victory of the year. The checkered flag is out, and it's being displayed for Matt Kenseth. He's a winner today at Kentucky. I don't even know what to say, guys. Oh, thank you guys. This is unbelievable. Thank you so much. Flag. The last lap at Bristol. Kenseth and Kane. Who wins it? He's there. Can he get to him? Not Final the corner. Here's the bump. No, nope, he missed it. Matt Kenseth is going to hang on and win the night race at Bristol. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Where he found a way around Kyle Busch to take the lead. Final lap of the race is underway. The number one seed entering the chase. Likeable, fun sense of humor, easy to talk to, but all business behind the wheel. Tonight, he'll wind up leading the most laps, and in an effort to start his championship off, will collect maximum points at Chicagoland. Check a flag and the Geico 400 to, miss, to Mr. Matt Kenseth from Wisconsin. You're fine, Mikey. Good job, boys. On the exit and have a shot on the last lap. White flags in the air, final lap in New Hampshire. Watch him go to the apron right here to get all the speed that he can through the corner. That didn't use that line that time. One more set of corners. He tried. He Not going to be enough. Matt Kenseth is going to open the chase with two straight wins. Checkered flag at New Hampshire to Kenseth and Joe Gibbs Racing. You're, you're unbelievable, man. Thank you so much. That's a win. That's a win on Star 500 right there, bud. Only guy to ever do that was the key. You're the man. Matt Kenseth, as we come to the white flag. White flag, bud. One more time. Better not slip. Johnson high, here comes Gordon trying to close. Kenseth owns the racetrack, double wide for fourth. Newman inside of Stenhouse. Matt Kenseth from the pole, breaks the drought, wins Bristol. Uh, uh, great job by Matt Kenseth, hadn't won a race in a year and a half here. Yeah, almost. Great job of him from the pole. Martrix Jr. has run out of gas. He also slow on the track. Now, will the 18 be able to hang on? Or has someone played that fuel conservation mode better? One lap to go. The white flag the out. Of the I think 18, out. And he's very slow. He's trying to make it all the way around. He might be slowing way down just to let the guy behind him catch up because it's Matt Kenseth who was 16 seconds behind him. He has 15 seconds. He can push the clutch in, coast when he can. But Jeff, I don't see it accelerating off the corner. Out. I think he's completely out of fuel. He's out. He's shaking it, trying to get gas. The guy behind him, Matt Kenseth. Could He's steal it. Stay on the track. Stay on the track. 16 seconds. Yeah, stay on the track. You can't use the access road. You have to stay on the racetrack. If you use the access road, you shortcut the corner. But here comes Matt Kenseth, the yellow car coming up behind him. Matt Kenseth could steal this one away, or he's got. Brad Keselowski behind him that could take it as well if Matt Kenseth can't hang on. Kenseth takes the lead away. 
Albush will not make it back to the start finish line. He will not make it. Matt Kenseth has a win already this year, has won twice at Pocono. Can he add to those numbers? Will he have enough fuel? Good job, buddy. Matt yeah. Kenseth is going to win at Pocono. Questions? Yeah, that is this race this team is hot it's not just Kyle Busch at Joe Gibbs racing it's also Matt Kenseth in the 20 car and he's not the type of driver you want to wake up before the no, playoffs Rick. last lap the white lap has come out for Matt Kenseth the last time we were talking about Matt Kenseth up front it was based on fuel mileage today it's been based on domination yeah, buddy, bring it home. Matt Kenseth down the backstretch after leading 145 laps, trying to lead his 146th lap. And the most important, as he works his way out of three and four, twice a winner at Michigan before, he makes it a third. Matt Kenseth will win in Michigan. Yeah, yeah, right there. Third win in the last six races. White flag in the air. Kenseth out in front. He's led 351 laps already tonight. Down the back stretch he goes. This will be his second win at Richmond. Coming out of turn yeah, number four. Kenseth wins at Richmond. Oh, I can hear you. Ah, way to go, baby. Nice work. Start at 23rd. 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. also on pit road. The white flag is in the air one more time around. 41 of Kurt Busch could be out of gas. Matt Kenza coming through the turns. One and two down the back stretch he goes. Kenza coming to pit road on lap 239, giving him enough fuel to go all the way to the checkered flag. Matt Kenza trying to punch his ticket to the second round of the chase. Kenseth will win at New Hampshire. White flag in the air, coming to one to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank, and they're each two car lengths apart. Something special is gonna have to happen here off of turn two and through three and four. I think Matt Kenseth has got him enough breathing room. I don't think he can uh, get there now. And Matt's doing a well Left car good job. out of the way. Don't Larson on Larson. the bottom. Here he comes. Kenseth rides the high groove all the way to the checkered flag. Matt Kenseth wins. Awesome at Dover. race. Awesome race. Wasn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. Pit stop. The relegator him back a few spots. One more lap to go. He's led his 37th lap. Matt Kenseth with a two second lead over Tony Stewart. Kenseth won here last year in the fall, in one of the chase races. And now wants to go back to back in Loudoun. Matt Kenseth on cruise control as he comes out of turn number four. Kenseth will win again. And now with a lap to go at Phoenix, the white flag goes in the air. One more time around. Matt Kenseth eliminated from the playoffs on a technicality. Had too many men over the wall when they were trying to fix the car. Now trying to get that win in 2017. The 45-year-old comes out of turn number four. Kenseth's going to win at Phoenix. <laughs> Brad Back Kenseth. to the white flag. If they get it, the race is official. Two and a half miles to go at Daytona. With only two cars down there, Trick's going to have to side draft so much. He's not going to get a lot of help from Casey Kane. Look at this outside lane. 47 is pushing to 37. That's going to get him to the 20, possibly. Here it comes. Here comes the outside lane to the 20. Down the back stretch they go. Eric Jones in the 20. He's, He's in front. Clear. He got a big push from the 37 of Busher. Here comes the 78 once again. 
Jones has never won in the Monster Energy Cup Easily. Series. Easily blocked the that. The 78 of Mark Trex Jr. has never won on a restrictor plate track. Coming to the trial for the final time, Eric Jones has won in Daytona. <laughs> Listen to that emotion. <laughs> Zappy. To go, presented by Credit One Bank. All right, he's got to get around here. Flag. One more time, brother, all clear. And Kyle Busch is in big trouble in the wall, all the way down the front straightaway. That's true, there could be some debris. Look at the 20, running to very low line, staying very low, trying not to get any type of debris on the racetrack. Larson, three and a half seconds back, running second. Eric Jones in his 100th start in the Monster Energy Cup Series is going to win the Southern 500. Eric Jones wins in 2019. Yes, sir. I cannot tell you how proud I am of you, Eric Jones. Way to freaking dig, man. All this pressure, and you did it, man. You should be proud of yourself right now. More aggressive a block. He's there. Christopher Bell is there. What's Joey going to do down here in this chicane? Oh, man, I think he's got him. No, not so. Does. Logano doesn't have the brakes to hold off Bell. White flag, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. And Joe Logano is saying, what do I got to do? He's well, gonna he's, he's going gonna to show Christopher Bell. You can see the brakes just glowing red hot on the 22 car. Missed the corner right there. It's smoking as well. Them brakes are hot. 15 drivers got their first career win on a road course. The last to do it, Chase Elliott, 2018 at Watkins Glen. Missed the corner pretty bad right there. Yep. Yeah, he's just got to take a breath right now. He's gapped the 22. Easier. He's got a better race car. He's just got to take a breath and not overdrive this car right now. Easier said than done. He's, just he's on fire, too. Them brakes are hot. Trying to get away from Joey Logano. We talked about it in the pre-race show, Jeff. That infield is such a tight thing. You're always constantly on the brakes, not giving them a chance to cool off until you get off a six, finally getting that long straightaway. So now Bell will have a little, about a mile to let those brakes cool before he has to get hard on the binders for the bus stop, which might be Logano's last chance. If he completes this, of oh. all the tracks I would have picked for Christopher Bell to get his first cup win, this is the last one I thought it would come at. Well, he's definitely one you had your eye on. You knew the opportunity that was ahead of him. He was longing for this opportunity, asking for it. He got it, and look at this. Christopher Bell running a time trial lap here to secure this victory. Logano now 1.8 seconds back. Adam Stevens on the pit box. For Christopher Bell, who comes out of the final chicane, and in his 38th start, Christopher Bell scores his first career win, and it comes on the Daytona road course. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. Great job, Adam. Great job, Pickering. Oh, the 20 car looking for that white flag to wave. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank for Christopher Bell. This will be his second career win in 92 starts. His first in New Hampshire. He can be the 14th driver to win in 2022. So much success in the Xfinity Series. He's been looking for some consistency and some wins now at the cup level. Off turn four and nothing between him and the checkered flag. Christopher Bell wins at New Hampshire. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great improvement on pit road. Adam, you're the man. I don't know what you did, but you woke this thing up. White flag in the air. One more time around. Christopher Bell, can he win his way into the next round of the playoffs? Four cars spinning across the front straightaway here. Ty Dillon, the 23 car as well. Ty Gibbs. Briscoe, Larson, tied right now for the final spot. Briscoe trying to grab another position. With that, 
Briscoe's got to make this work. He's got to go find this spot. He's got new tires. The tiebreaker would go to Chase Briscoe, the best finish in this round, if they stay even. Christopher Bell now coming out onto the oval. Bell, what a day this would be for Christopher Bell. Briscoe underneath Eric Jones, but Austin Dillon underneath Briscoe. Those points are going to change again. The final time through the trilogy chicane for Christopher Bell. Right side, right side, all clear, all clear. Cole Custer throwing a block right there on everybody. Briscoe with a huge drive into the rear chicane. A two-point advantage for Briscoe and Christopher Bell. He has done it. He's won his way into the round of eight. Next round from Charlotte, one lap to go. Christopher Bell, if he wins the one and the 11, fighting for every point right now, Denny Hamlin, two point favorite to get in as the championship four. Bell out of turn four, he's gonna do it. He's won his way into the championship. Let's go get a championship. And the fight for the point, right at the line. The one of Chastain past Hamlin.